Okay, uh, so let us apply the, this technique to derive um, the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of uh, some function of two variables, right? So basically it's, um, to be honest, it's not very challenging. The, this part. I mean, if you understood the previous part, then deriving the uh, tangent plane to, to the graph of some function is, is not really um, that big of a difference, right? So because what, what we do here is if we have the graph of some function z equals f of x, y. So basically we just move z to the other hand side and then we get an equation that looks like this. So f of x, y minus z equals zero. But then we, we just think of this as, as a level surface of uh, the function f of x, y, z, uh, which equals f small of x, y minus z. And now the gradient of this f capital is going to be first the derivative with respect to uh, to x, but z does not depend on x, so we just get fx. Then we take the derivative with respect to y, so which is fy. And then we take the derivative with respect to z, but then f of xy does not depend on z. So the only part that depends on that is minus z, and then it's, it's going to be minus y. So that, that's basically it. So then we just apply this and rearrange a little bit. And then, um, right, so we, we just get the result, right? So we, we just have, we just need to view our graph of a function of two variables as, as a level surface. Right, and here is the gradient vector, right? So this is the normal vector to the tangent uh, plane to the level surface, right? And uh, here is, you know, what we do applying our, um, the machinery from the previous part. So this is our, our technique. So this is nebula F, and this is, you know, X minus X zero, Y minus Y zero, Z minus Z zero. And then by just rearranging the, the terms, we, we get this equation. Uh, it's not really that different from the equation of um, the tangent plane to level to a level surface, right? So that's basically what we just obtained. Um, I guess you can um, one way to to memorize to to deal with it is just to memorize. So another. Uh, is to, to, to remember how we derived it. So the third way is to kind of uh, do the, the, the following thing. So notice that uh, this is the equation of a plane and we have x and y. Basically the idea is that the coefficients at x and y should be partial derivatives and they are partial derivatives, right? So it means that we do know the um, almost everything, right? So we know the coefficients at x and y and we just don't know the constant term. But the constant term um, is known if you uh, if you also know that the point x0, y0, and f of x0, y0 is on, on the graph of the function. So which means that it should satisfy the, this equation, which it does. Okay, so basically that's the picture. This is what it looks like, uh, tangent plane. And um, again, so we can rearrange it a little bit, uh, but it's, it's probably better if I, uh, if I just go straight to the example, right? So here is, again, the same equation over and over again. Um, so here is how we can apply this. So, um, here is our uh, surface. So this is f of x over y. Right, so now um, we should begin with finding the gradient of f, right? So fx is differentiating with respect to x uh, yields 4x. Uh, fy is 2y. Now let us substitute uh, the, the given point. So x is 1, y is 1. So 4x is, is really 4 times 1 is 4, and this is 2 times 1 is 2, right? So this is fx and fy evaluated at the given point. And so this is nebula f at the given point. Okay, so now, now basically uh, we 
have all the ingredients. So Z equals um, three. So sorry, um, three and three is um, is what is f of x zero one zero plus four times the, the, this four is um, f x times x minus x zero. This is one plus two, which is f y times y minus and this one is x zero one also minus one the, this one is one zero and that that's the answer so we just i don't know can just simplify it a little bit so three plus four x minus four plus two y minus two so now we can just rewrite it with i don't know four x it's going to be four x uh, plus 2y and 3 minus 4 minus 2 is I think minus 3 so that's the answer here all right so that's it for this part